amazing grace. From family and friends to civil rights leaders and politicians, hundreds gathered to remember George Floyd as South Florida and the nation continue calling for change. There were more calls for action for police reform during the service. Meantime, last night brought another wave of protests across the country, including a disturbing incident in upstate New York. CBS 4's Michael George joins us live from Minneapolis with the latest overnight developments. Michael, good morning. Good morning. The sun just rising here. Another peaceful night in Minneapolis and that memorial that was watched across the country really capped off what has been a peaceful few days here in this city that just a week ago was burning. And we are seeing, though, some disturbing acts of violence in other cities in the country. George Floyd is being remembered in the city where he died in police custody on Memorial Day. Everybody wants justice. We want justice for George. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. The Reverend Al Sharpton delivered the eulogy at Thursday's service for Floyd's family. He did not die of common health conditions. He died of a common American criminal justice malfunction. At one point, Sharpton asked the crowd to stand in silence for eight minutes and 46 seconds. That's the amount of time police officer Derek Chauvin kneeled on Floyd's neck before he lost consciousness. Just blocks away, three of Chauvin's former police colleagues were making their initial court appearance on charges of aiding and abetting second degree murder. The judge set bail at $750,000 apiece. The criminal charges against the officers haven't stopped the protests. Here in Minneapolis, the demonstrations have remained peaceful for the last five nights in a row. As night fell, demonstrators across the country again marched in defiance of curfew orders. The events were largely, but not entirely, peaceful. In Buffalo, New York, a 75-year-old man was hurt after he confronted police during a rally. Two officers involved have been suspended pending an investigation. The man was hospitalized with a head injury. And the remembrances from George Floyd continue this weekend. There will be a service in North Carolina for his family and then a large service in Houston on Monday. Reporting live in Minneapolis, we're going to send it back to you, Maribel.